good. Hello, hello. It's a happy Tuesday. I think it's happy Tuesday. Well, P's, you know, she's doing all right. She's, she's having a little eczema issues, but we're, we're trying to get her lubed up and happy. <laughs> trying to work through it. We're working through it. As a family. <laughs> For her eczema. It, it, it's, it's the aftermath of antibiotics. Mm-hmm. Happens every time. I, I try to, you know... Head it off, but... Head it off, but... You know. It just... It's inevitable. Well, this is P over here. M over there. <laughs> Patricia. Mariah. And together, we, we are... P and Marty Studio. Mm, that was oh, very that was nice. That was I haven't even been drinking. I'm kind of laying off the alcohol. I, think, I wasn't going to mention factor. that. I wasn't going to mention it. Yeah, bless your heart. I, I'm, I'm doing antibi uh, antibiotics. I'm doing probiotics. Orally and topically. topically. And I'm going to just give that a little bit of time to, you know, really kind of kick in before I start. Yeah, we need to get you better before we start traveling. <clears throat> I don't want you itchy. Yeah. Because it, yeah, I don't want to be. It doesn't make you fun to be around. No, it doesn't. She gets grumpy. I get grumpy. Rightfully so, but, you know. Anyways, so that's that. Do say hello in the chat so we can say hello back. Otherwise, I do not know that you are here. If you want to hang out in the background, that is totally fine. We no judgment here. But do give those thumbs the upsies. It is extremely helpful. Loved, wanted, needed. Not really needed, but you know. Definitely loved and wanted. So, yes, that's how we know all of that's going on. And that lets other people know that you like <clears> it. And then you might want to come over and watch it too. And this, that, the other, and all that YouTube business. Yeah. If you're new to the channel, please do subscribe. It helps, you know, build the numbers and, you know, get little milestones. And we throw little parties and <coughs> giveaways and all sorts of things for yeah. that. Yeah, we're due for one. I, I really, I, I look forward to them. Um, so that's going on. Do ring the bell so you get notified as long as YouTube's feeling like notifying people. That's always that thing. If it's that day. If it's that day. <laughs> I really feel like that's how that works. I'm still All having right, trouble with my exes. Not the ones from Texas. Texas. Uh -huh. The exes on the where you try to X out the whole thing and it, it won't do it. It just lets you go, keep going backwards. It just puts you in a loop. And you try to hit the X to go back to your original page and won't do it. I don't, I don't know what happens to your thing. Maybe it needs an update. I don't, I don't know. Hi, update. She doesn't like to hear that. Okay, we've got Amy Douglas. Hello, Apple a Day. April, Art Curious. That's Miriam. Barbara Pools here. Brad, Carrie, Darcy, Dana, Di, you're back. Hello and welcome. Diane is here. Eddie, Ellen, Griffin Shell, that's Rhonda, Isabel, Jen, Terry's in the house. Jeanette, a.k.a. Jeanette. Jennifer Scott, hello, welcome. Kathy is here. Kathy, we got two Kathys. Carrie, Linda, Lisa, Lydia, Mary Luxa, Michelle Mixed Media. Hey, I'm so happy you're here. Mitzi, Panka, Ricky Nordmeyer, SCG, that's Sarah, Silver Granny, that's Lynn, Sonia Nelson, making those extremely hilarious ATCs. Stephanie Healer, Sue Davis, Teresa is here. Little, is that aren't you usually Teresa Spitfire but doop a doop a do you that's your channel same Teresa I would assume it is Tina Sponberg Wendy is here and Y Stevenson hello welcome to those of you especially our newbies and then a big hug to all of you that just you know keep coming back for more for, for more I don't know we feel obligated to you know keep Hey, you more. show up, so will we. Absolutely. <laughs> we'll try to have our bells on, and some yeah. some days we have more uh, <laughs> ding, ding, ding than other days. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> what? 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 So, little sister Cheryl got mixed up and wanted me to change it, so she did. So, she's just Teresa Church now, not little Teresa Spitfire. Did you, yeah. Okay, well, good. But at least I recognize. I'm glad that, you know, you, you are the same. One in, the, one in the same of the Spitfires. Okay. Shall I go top slide? You shall. Okay. We've got happy mail. And I, I have to start off with this because I just, I, it just cracked, cracked me up. I, the thing that she said, put the last thing she said before she signed her name yeah. is, "Don't fight for the envelope." Well, this this is how it arrived, and it arrived in a plastic bag. In a plastic bag. 
we have a really we have a feeling that that was why it was probably detained for a bit is because yes. you know somebody was not nice to it in transit mm -hmm. and i think but, it happened in israel because the the bag is marked with yes yeah, has yeah it looks like it might have got caught in one of their machines. I would That's think what so. I'm, I'm guessing. But not to worry. We'll fix it. I, we will fix this, and I mean, you will not even know that mm -hmm. there is a blemish. This is on from Miriam, by it. the way. <laughs> this is from Miriam. But isn't this just great? I just, just. Oh yes, and Carrie did get some most beautiful happy mail from Yanka. And see, he supposedly he said it right. I'm still not saying it right. I'm sorry, Yanka. I do apologize for that. And then he's like, is it Paula or Paula? See, I think we messed everybody up. Well, I just it really call is her Paula. Paula. Paula, because it's, she's she, Pow. Well, I, she's Pow, but she also, Pow. with the double L, it's just, I feel like you should, Paula, Pow, Paula. You know. Well, it depends on what. It, she, it, I don't think she minds one way or the other necessarily. Yeah, I don't think she does either. Anyway, Mary, I love it. Hey, it's Margo. wonderful. And it will be. Yank. 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 No eh. We just want to Yonk. put that on there because it has the E on the end. Yank. Well. Pooty do. <laughs> okay. Well, look at this. All of this fantastic. I mean, you've already seen some pictures of some of this. Hey, Izzy's already had these out of the bag. I made her put them back for yeah. today. Oh, yeah. She loved them. And yeah. she's been wanting happy. And, and she's, she's already she's already named them. Oh. See the adoption certificate here? Mm. Well, the little kitty's name is Sophia. Mm. And I made her sign her own name here. Put our date down there. Aww. Now, this is Lizzie. But Josh is here. <laughs> Did they hear him scraping? She's scraping. <laughs> <laughs> scraping. Yes, he is present. Mm -hmm. Not 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 necessarily here. Yeah. But. Okay. So this is Mariah. And these are little pins. They're so adorable. I <laughs> mean, they're just I almost wore mine, but then I don't know about having a, a me on me. I thought about that. I was like, well, and I'm wearing a lot of pink today. So I think if I'm going to be yeah, wearing a me on me, it should be a little more contrast. And I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to work on, I'm going to work an outfit up. For, for your little me? For my little me. Oh, that would be hilarious. And I want, uh, this just. She's going into the journal. I absolutely <laughs> love the, the bejesus out of her. <laughs> I love that experience. Preston, I love everything about her uh -huh. and her red hair. I used to dye my hair red back in the day. And then I just gave it up because it was too much of a whip. Yeah. All right, Mariah, I'm handing these back to you so that you could. I, I, I'm going to need all my room that I've got over here okay. today for other, other things. All right. So I'm going to move that aside for just a minute, and I'm going to talk about this hat. And I would have worn it today, but I already had my outfit on when Mariah presented me with this. And the thing about it is, is when I tried it on, I think I'm going to have to add about this much of a band she to kind of make it so that it goes band, poof. She kind of liked the gray one that you sent. I think I love I, it. I know that I can do that, but I want you to look at this. She All said, right. what did it say on the card? Whose are these? They're, they're hers. Yeah. She wanted to make sure that I knew that. Yes. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to do the same thing with this one, and I love this. And I have some um, of this same colored yarn mm -hmm. to add another little thing on it so that I can have that little beret poof. She wants more poof. I want more poof. But other than that, I mean, oh my God, they're so wonderful. They are so wonderful. Now, this is the one that Miriam sent me a video about and how to do it. Okay, as soon as she started measuring, I was like, oh. I'm out. Well, uh, I'm... Yeah, can't do that. Mm -hmm. uh, but when I look at this now, I feel like I can do this. Uh -huh. But I had to have it in front of me because that's how I am. I'm tactile visual. I'm not. I'm not a numbers pattern kind of person. No. I, I just that's one of the reasons I gave up on. On <laughs> apple says for, forget more cowbell. We want more poof. <laughs> <laughs> I, and I just need a little bit more poof. Yeah. yeah. But look at all these colors. I mean, is there anything? It's going to go with everything. Darcy every day. says scrumble hat. Scrumble? Yeah. Is that like an official thing? Well, that's what some of these. I know this is just called a bullion. I know that. And I know how to make these little things. I know how to do that. I don't know how to do that. 
I think I can do that. I've never done it, but I think I can. It's just, you just, I don't know. I have to play with that. And then she stitched it all together. See, these are separate parts. And then she made the parts come together. Yeah. And oh, just those two, those colors together right there. Mm -hmm. Oh, just makes my heart sing. Sing, sing, sing. Oh, it's an official thing. Scrumble. Yeah. Oh, free this is what cro crochet. It's the official word. Um, this is what Prudence Mapstone does. She Crumble. creates these little pods of things mm -hmm. and um, then, you know, makes them all come together. Hello, Janice Marie. This is, this is very much Prudence hey, Mapstone. And as soon as I get, get it all fixed up and everything, I'm going to have Mariah take another uh, shot for our, our um, what do you call that thing well, that we have. Well, she was very surprised. Oh, I, I was, yeah, I did a little dance. And I'm not really feeling all that dancey right now, but I did do a dance. She did. And I do know how to do this one, but I'll tell you what, it, it's a hard one to do. The, 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 uh, Sarah's like you. She says she can't follow a pattern to save her life, but she can do this kind of thing. I, I, <laughs> me too. But isn't this pretty? Look at how beautiful this is. It feels uh, really yeah. nice too. And I, you know, I really, really would like that I can. I, I would be able to do that, but I, I can't, and I just get frustrated and angry. And I'm going to hand these across to you because I don't want to get paint on them. I mean, not that it would surprise anybody. No, but, you know. God knows. Try to keep them clean. All right, so Mary and me were also the inspiration kind of for today because I really, I've got some more. I, I did a whole bunch of prints this morning because Mariah tells me that we need packets. Packets. And that's how I, how I do that. But I want you to look at this because this... This is a completely different feeling to doodles. And I know a lot of you, your doodles aren't like my doodles. My doodles aren't like yours. This is taking what is existing on the paper and making it yours, giving it the stamp, your stamp. And it has to do with colors. It has to do with the way you use your lines, the way you in integrate your lines with the existing uh, paint that's already there, and this is a lovely example. I'm gonna sit Well, and I told her, I was like, and just think, Miriam was doing this like it had, I think it's been about four weeks. This was before we started showing yeah, this the is, do, do this, you know. this is her, she, she, she doodles. This is mm -hmm. what she does. She doodles. And so timing was perfect, is kind of what I Absolutely say, perfect. You were, you were way ahead of the curve. Here we yeah, are, yeah, and then it the arrives curve. at the right time. And that's, that's what cool. we're going to deal with today. We're going to deal with curves rather than straights. We're, we're going to get away from the quilting, and we're going to go into more lyrical. 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 She gets lyrical. <laughs> lyrical. I don't think that's... <laughs> that's how that goes. <laughs> oh, man, I do love this. I love... Look at that gradation uh. there. I make myself laugh sometimes. <laughs> Feel free to give a little chuckle. Hey, this check. came all the way from Israel, and I think it arrived in yes. amazing shape. Looking, to th I mean, it, uh, the packaging. And hopefully everything's there, Miriam, because I'll tell you, no, I mean, it was ripped on like on the back side, and I was so happy they put it in the little pouch. Yes. Mm -hmm. And we're pretty sure it happened somewhere in Israel because the pouch was from Israel. Yes, that was my feeling. <laughs> That's our deductive reasoning. Yes. Uh, lovely look offsetting those things so that you create that sense of depth. It's lovely. I don't know what kind of paper this is, but I like it. Wonderful. It's big paper. It's big paper. So, oh, I, I, I'll have to save this one out because this one goes with one of the ones I've got in here. And you can't go wrong with black and white. And I think this is kind of like deli paper, sort of. Oh, this is nice. Hear that? That's a fabulous print. And we know Miriam's got some gel plating skills. There's never any doubt about that. Get those two colors together. Mm -hmm. Now, this does happen. She was a brave woman folding those like that and sending them. And I'm really impressed. They must have been pretty dry because yeah. otherwise they would have more of a... God, we send them. I think, who was it? Well, I, I know that we've sent stuff to, you know, Lisa, Sirius Hecka, and many times she's like, I had to do a little operating. It's like, well, you know. Oh, and this is one that we, she showed online. I mean, on, in Makers. Oh, man, that was fast. Hey, you can 
Those are the ones that um, Darcy was talking about. Not oh my just... goodness! The yeah. Luma Colors yeah. by Stadler. So you can play with those. Very good. All right. Yeah, things are just we arriving will. on time like we Look planned stuff. And I'm doing this because when you get the picture, we all Christy. know that. You can't photograph metallic. It just... No. You know. It'd be tricky. It's... it's and it, you're lucky if you can get it with a wiggle. I can get it in... I, I can get it now, in Now, this one looks like it's actually been sprayed. This looks like a Mariah paper. Boy, this would look good in your seaside. I might, might put to that start in there building a volume too. <laughs> <laughs> did we already send the other stuff I did. off? Oh. Off to Helen, as requested. Helen, okay. Well, here I'll give you that one, and you can put it with there. Uh, I'm keeping this one because I kind of have I have some. Hey, but we needed some I blues did. on the Paris page. Oh, we did. So we that could be absolutely spot on. did, and we do have. A black and white page in my journal. Yeah. So I'm going to put that back over here. Because that may be... Um, I wanted to kind of get to some of that today, but I don't know that we will. Oh my God, this is lovely. Marion's <sighs> use of color. I, 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 I applaud her because, number one, she just... She's, she's a brave soul. She's very brave and, and does it with, I mean... It, she doesn't I trying hesitate. To say? Yeah, it just really does it. With panache. You know who yes. this reminds me of? Chagall and his roosters. Kind of that same color feel. I had about 20 things that ran And you want to know what? That... This is going to crack you up today because this is the stencil. But... I love a good rooster. I love a good rooster. <laughs> oh, and I just... I, I, I just... <laughs> Uh-oh. Today's just going to be one of those days where I make myself chuckle. Where's my um, tool here? Happy Stream is a fantastic stencil. There it is. You know, I don't know what's the difference between this and my finger, but there it is. <laughs> There's a difference. Oh, Ooh. this is like a stained glass window. Oh, I saw this one. Uh-oh. Miriam. Well, I, guess, I definitely will frame this. And you know what? It goes with some of the artwork that we have in the house. It does. The stuff downstairs mm -hmm. at the entry? Definitely. Mm -hmm. It really does. All right. I'm handing you that, Mariah. And we'll, we shall go and frame that together. That'll be our... Yeah, it's square. It's definitely going to require a... We might oh. float it so that way it keeps all of its edges and everything yes because it, it doesn't matter when you when you mat them they yeah they obliterate an edge love, love these colors together love them this might work in you know i, I just I might take some of this and put that in <laughs> a kiko's book okay this is nice too i love this I, i'm not sure how that occurred if that was intentional or if that was part of the on the thing there. Got some nice little shiny throughs of the metallics. Can you see that? She's also oh, this is a lovely piece up here. Great I'll mixing of pattern. Oh, you need to see Eddie's. Um, I don't think you got to see the print that he did, but he did a layered of, of different stencils. Well done. This, 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 this area right here. Hey, Gala. I know. It's soon. I told Pete she needed to start putting her suitcase out. Uh, maybe that's what's getting you kind of little. It, 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 it is partially. I, I, I am. We you need know, to get artists, you something to artists, chill you out. Art, yeah, I need volume. Um, as you know, when drink so much booze and still walk. Um, well, that's true about volume, too. Um, and certainly, mixing them is a very yeah, don't do dicey that. proposition. Mm -hmm. My sister did that once, and she ridden her bike across town and then when she headed back home she hit some gravel and yeah it wasn't a pretty sight <laughs> okay <laughs> I, I love these colors i'm going to keep this out here too because you'll see in just a minute how, why i'm, I'm see, putting these shows up and stories like that start coming up <laughs> yeah, seriously uh, i probably shouldn't hmm. even yeah mike didn't say which one like you know i, I don't know all right, she's got a go. lot of things going through there. I got a lot. Little squirrels just running around making Ooh, nests. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah. They're, they're, they're on the, the, what do you call them? They're on the wheel. The wheel. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> it wants trying to take another turn. <laughs> Stuff's getting thrown off. <laughs> Somebody else trying to get on. Uh, yeah. Okay. Now look at this. Now that print's yours, the blue and uh, yeah, yeah this, turquoise. Okay. I just did this this morning. Uh -huh. I mean, I've still got paint all over me. I, I really, I didn't have time to gussy up too much. I just kind of yeah. flipped some water <laughs> on my hair and yeah, went for it. Okay. All right, I, I want to get this apart here because it's, it's really, you know, it's it's important that you be able to see. What is this paper that you're using, Miriam? Square. Square sheets, or do you cut it that way? I don't know, it looks pretty much like... But it's not scrapbook paper. No? Okay, that looks fabulous. Now look at this. This is your... your wave. This is four different Ooh, prints here. That one is one of those trippy ones. <laughs> P, P does those every once in a while. She brings them down to me and she shifts, like does this in front of my face and I'm like, whoa. <laughs> Just can't be coming at people with art okay, like that. Okay, check this out. <gasps> oh my god, that's fantastic. But look at these two together. Do they just look like cousins? They are. They're friends. They're friends. <laughs> yeah, so this is... Her, her squirrels are also of questionable mental stability. <laughs> I got one with a, with a gimpy leg. He keeps throwing everything else yeah. off on the... Yeah. Okay, well that, well that one's kind of, you know, interesting. But look at that. See, these oh, are, the, it's, it's like the paper they use in the printing shops. Is it on a roll? Like Sonya, Sonya's, yeah, good question. But check this out. See, this is with Paola's. <laughs> and I don't know, let me see. No, Fran didn't make it on this one. But it's two. Let's see, you've got. There's one, two, three layers here. Yeah, so you've got the half first a stream. One, the first one was Paola's. Then I did prayer wheels, prayer happy wheel. stream, Hap, yeah, whatever, and then Miriam's happy stream, wavy, wavy circles, happy stream, and then went her wavy circles twice. Oh, you flipped it around. Yeah, look at you. That's a double stream. <laughs> woo -hoo, woo -hoo. Now you can see Fran's stencil under there, the wallpaper one, whatever. Ten, ten tile, the scrolls. Yep. So this is all three again. These three stencils work fabulously together. Now, Highly recommend. These are going to get cut up and made into packets. Yeah, and you will But be I told her to show them on the stream today before she cut Isn't them. that lovely? They're fantastic. Mm hmm Okay, this just has two layers. Yeah, two layers. And then the final one, I just pulled a purple over the whole thing. Oh, good call, Dana. Dana says the CSA watercolor tins are in the prime day prices. Oh, I'll put that I'll put that link in here again if y'all want it. I really thought about do it going over this with yellow. And then I thought, you know, I, I kind of need some of the because this is Fran stencil. Really light. It was one of the pickups underneath. And then Another one on top of the turquoise. Oh, yeah, they're $10.24. We should have waited. Say okay. four bucks. Wow. Yeah, well, four bucks is four bucks. Okay, this is kind of cool because what happened was I was using the stencil so much that some of the stencil actually came off on the plate. So when I pulled the final pull here, this happened. Isn't that cool? This is a tough one to get. I don't know that I'm going to cut that one up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't think you should. I think that is a. Th this is this is a, a, something that happens, you know, very infrequently. That aside, because I think those are and those are lovely colors. Okay, here we go again. Look at this. Now this is a pickup of Fran stencil. The remnants of Fran stencil, after another pull, and then of course, what what do you call Miriam stencil on top here? Happy stream. Happy stream. Happy stream? Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah, that looks good with this, too. Oh, the funzels as well. Yeah. Wow. Really? Yeah. 
Maybe I have all of them together. Hold on. I thought I did the other day. Okay, I well, I absolutely it. love this. And um, I, I, I hesitate. It would probably look really good on that one page in Mariah in um, the Pico's journal that she's working on. The one that has the pretty fabric. But I think you've pretty much got that page taken care of. Maybe. I don't really think it needs anything else. But if it does, then we've got that. Okay. So, you saw all those. Ooh, they and these are. are they're $9.56 for the Funsel pack of markers. Prime. Oh. Yeah, I'm telling you. Prime days, y'all. Get your shopping on. Boy, no kidding. All right, I'm putting those over there for right now. And I'm probably... Mariah's going to say, where are, where are those? I've got to... We had this discussion of putting things back on the cart where, you know, mm -hmm. the same place so that you don't have to flip it around 49,000 times. She tells herself this is a nice there's more bag to Miriam. <laughs> I love it. And we loved Izzy's um Well, that was the one that the post office put it in. This oh, this is the this is the bag. Yeah. Yeah, that's the bag they put it in. It says, "Dear customer, we sincerely regret that the enclosed postal item sustained, sustained damage during forwarding to destination. Your mail is of great importance to us, and we do our best to ensure that each item reaches its destination quickly and intact. Unfortunately, in spite of all our efforts, there are occasional accidents, some of which are under the control of the Israel Postal Company. Please be assured that postal authorities, both in Israel and abroad, are constantly striving to improve processing methods Diminish it. I feel sorry. All I'm sitting here thinking is, I really next feel sorry time they for the won't, person. Next time they won't chew it up. <laughs> yeah, I feel sorry for the person who had to write that. And like, how many edits were there? Okay, for inquiries, there's a phone number here. <laughs> oh God, you know that's painful. Oh, that's great. I'm gonna keep that. <laughs> I really like it. That'd be funny in a in a book that you know, like <laughs> had a bunch of <laughs> mail that was all messed up. Oh, and Sandra, I got my um, if she's here or shows up. Um, I did get my, my little uh, winning, because she, she gives things away, and then some, I think Miriam put my name in. Oh! So, thank you, Miriam. <laughs> I got my stuff uh. from Xandra. It was a little wet, but that's okay. All saved. It was a little wet? Well, because we've been having all that rain. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think our mailbox is a little leaky, or Van dropped it. Well, there is always that possibility. <laughs> it crossed my mind. I had to say it out yeah, no, you know he watches, so mm -hmm. he'll have a chance to. Okay. He said he didn't, but... All right. So I have these three that I kept mm. out, and I really I want to do some different doodling on these and kind of you know a little nod towards Miriam's way of doing things, because I think it's important to realize that your doodling can be as dense as you want it to be. It can be as loose and flowy as you want it to be. And working with what you, how you start out with, what is there to begin with, it, it really needs to be taken into consideration because that's going to determine the direction. Mm -hmm. Is it going to be flowy lines? Is it going to be straight lines? Well, I think we can pretty much decide. Now, that being said, you can make this into flowy quite easily. And because I have this white stuff around the edge, we're just going to go ahead and kind of do some of that right now. And then this can be resting because I'm not going to do any more gel plating on these. These are done. And we're just going to, these are just going to be doodles. Okay. So Ooh, I'll check here on this one. What I do when I get ready to gel plate over these and I, because I'll, a lot of the things that I send to you have already been here. I'm actually running out of brayer offs, so I'm having to go ahead and just make some gel prints. And that's good too. So I want this to be flowy. So I'm going to use a page out of Izzy's book. And it's going to do two things. Remember this little thing that she insists on using? Well, this was came to us through gel press. And it, it has these little toothy edges that are different, whatchamacallits, on there, okay? This is where you will want to use your open paints. 
It does not look like it is a Prime Day deal. The carnival. What's Oh, name? yeah. Okay. Now, all right, so we need to talk about the color that we're going to use here. And I'm thinking... Oh, Sarah's so, showing that the carnival is out of stock. I saw the um, 60 sheets is still available. I think. All right, I'm just going to go ahead and Mariah's going to do that over there. And I, I'm, I'm just going to do, do what she something does. here. All right, uh, the reason I'm going with this color is because I've already got some of it there. Mm. It's going to go over the top of some of this and it's going to brown it out. But it has enough yellow in it that I think you're still going to be able to appreciate some of the pinks. Do you want to discuss a different option just, you know, for banter? Sure. Because I don't really like that idea. Okay. I think that maybe if you wanted to do that, if you have something else that you could then do, or are you trying to make it all cohesive? Um, I'm... Just mainly what I'm trying to do right now is I, I want to incorporate in this very linear, I, I want to get some, so I, I'm not, uh, you know, I'm not, I, I'm, I'm willing to work with you here, but you better give me a good reason. Well, I just, it makes me a little sad kind of browning, because you're going to lose a lot of your purple. Okay. That makes me a little sad. Okay. Purple's good. Yeah. I'm just going through here. One of the reasons I picked it is because I want open. Okay. Well, do you have something that's a little more red? Red, like red, reddish. Reddish and open. Red, red tone. Um, well, no, not an open. I really don't. What's that one that you just have your hand on right now? That? That's yeah. pink. It's not open. Oh. Now, I suppose I could make it open with my retardant. Mm -hmm. It's not as good, though. It's never as good. Yeah. I mean, you just, you, you can't beat a golden open. Right. Oops. There's just, you know, we can talk about it all, all the blessed day. <laughs> well, what else you got? An, oh, then maybe go with something blue, bluish. You got, you got something well, I've got Prussian, but I think that's a bit... No, that's, no, that's, that's, that's too... going to wipe everything away. I've got green gold. Let's and see. it's extremely transparent. Let's that's see. the whole thing. I don't think it's going to show up that much. I want something here that's going... I'm going to be able to see this. Yeah, just go ahead with your thing there. Thank I'm just you. a little sad about it. I wish you kind of had a, a quinacridone magenta or something like that in the... I don't even have quinacridone anacridone magenta in heavy body. You poor thing. I can't believe that that's such a situation here at PM Artist Studio. Yeah. <laughs> it is sad. <laughs> but now, you know, that being said, hey, David. we can go ahead and we can pink this up a bit. Hey, Kirsten. And, you know, hopefully I'm going to have enough retardant out there in my open oh come on you yeah and I was thinking about my 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 collab thing because I feel like the pressure's kind of on and I'm, I'm running out of time I have a plan oh yeah I may just go ahead and make it do the little video showing all that and then perhaps whenever we get back we do I do maybe one of the Monday makes Monday makes with Mariah um, and do another one showing how it's made. Oh. Well, rather than recording a process video, editing that, yeah, okay, because yeah, I'm kind of running out of time before we head out to Baltimore and stuff too, because it was like, eh. And I have my, hey, I noticed Mary, I heard Mary's name today. Mary? My postcards. Today. She does. Can you believe that? And I mean, I, I, I worked. I worked. Hey, diligently <laughs> on those little buggers. Yes, Josh is in the background. We're pinking up our um Hi Lucy. How have you been? Enjoying seeing some of your new paintings.
All right, let's get that nice and even out here. Ooh, that's a nice color. Sort of. Uh, well, I was just right saying, on the, my friend. Right on the cusp of coral. <laughs> yes. Now, I'm hoping when I'm dragging this through, at least this is my plan, I really, you know, I had this idea about 15, 20 minutes ago and really didn't have time to um, fully explore. Because he loves doing this. I think you should do one more long, flowy line, but... I'm doing it easy. <laughs> That's a lot of pattern you're putting there. It is, isn't it? Oh, good. What good? She said we're good company. What is that? Lucy says we're good company. Good. Oh, thank you. You certainly try to be. I mean, I, I, I know I have my grumpy days when I'm like, mm -hmm. I don't know what happens. Some days it's just, mm -hmm. I'm just not feeling it, you know? I mean, everybody has those days. Come on. I used to tell my kids, I said, okay, yes, I'm going to try to give you okay. my best every day, and that's all I ask from you. And we all know that our best isn't the same every single day. Amen, sister. And the thing about it is... I'm very happy that you didn't pull up everything, because... Yeah, towards the camera. Oh, yeah, there we go. towards the camera. <laughs> I like it, though. But it's a good thing not all of that came up. I think that this is going to be very interesting. So we're remember, this is open so we need to allow it to to dry before we pull that yep. layer and i think what would be really neat is if i follow the lines mm -hmm. with some kind of ombre hey, stuff Diane. are you feeling better she was a terrible time with the covid i'll tell you what you know we never were diagnosed well we just didn't go to the doctor because we were i don't know but yeah we had a good but not like she like Ugh. months I think not weeks like yeah we months. had weeks mm -hmm. of well actually you know if you consider that cough that continued for oh yeah now that was that was ridiculous that was horrible <clears throat> and of course I think partially in Texas is compounded by allergies so see Devin recognized it would be difficult to live stream three to four days a week every week and always be in the right mood I will tell you there are certain days that I'm like oh I would like to just kind of cancel today but then I'm like well but we promised this and we already kind of have this planned and that usually then says all right well, you know, just shake it off and then we'll or we'll just kind of maybe try something new or and the thing the nice thing about having two people here rather than just one is that you know we do kind of take turns on who's you know, having a, a bad day. Crap day. Mm -hmm. And I don't know, you know. Ten weeks. Okay, now we're gonna put this aside for just a minute because remember, this this is is wet. Boy, I don't know how I managed to do that. <laughs> Everywhere. <laughs> okay. But I do love this. I love how that blue came through, the, and that was what I was hoping. And the the, the purple didn't get totally obliterated. I, the, to I, the purple. And, and what we can do, I can show you some things when this dries that you can do t to revive some of the colors that you had there that you feel like that you lost. So, you just have to trust me on this one. Okay. Okay. Now... <laughs> so let's bust these bad dudes that out. That should be a shirt. Trust me, I'm an artist. <laughs> okay, <laughs> dot, well, dot, dot. My, my first, <laughs> my first challenge here is figuring out how to open the damn box. Oh, you did good. Look at that. Look at that. That's oh. a nice little box. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's. I always feel obligated to like, keep these boxes. And I'm I like, always why like am I keeping them? <laughs> sample. 
sample these things and see, you know. Oh, that's a good yellow. That's a nice yellow. It's actually visible. It's actually visible. And yellow. Mm-hmm. I, I swear to God, when Izzy was little, that was the color that she <gasps> always... All the time, and we're like, why are you making this entire drawing in yellow? And, you know, you can't see any of it. Maybe that's why. She was just trying to be sneaky and incognito. <laughs> oh, I love that orange. Hey, so far, <laughs> thumbs up. Yeah, that orange is fantastic. The red's nice. Nice red. And it's really annoying when the red and the orange are basically the same. I get annoyed with that. And they aren't? And yeah. I kind of, you know, that's kind of a burnt orange. It's not like a... Right. Wee. Yeah. It's a serious orange. It's a serious orange. And this is a serious purple, too. This is yeah. not any lavender crap. None of that pastel sugar business. Yeah. <laughs> no. That's right, Devin. So <laughs> Izzy didn't want anyone photocopying her work <laughs> when she was doing things in yellow. Well, there was no worries about that. Yeah. It was just like a ghost thing. And she, she, she was just as happy as a pig in mud. Oh, here, show the um, package up into the technology, and I'll put a link. These are the ones that um, Darcy recommended. So this is her, her, her choice of doodling. Yeah, good job, Darcy. Brown, love me a good brown. Oh, that's a nice one. That, what is it? A, it's S. What is the name again? I can't remember. Stedler. S T A E D T L E R. Some more of those Germans. I'll tell you what. They make things. And we've got a black, of course. They. It's not on a prime day, or uh, I mean, it, it is prime, but it's not. Um, oh, you Mariah know, will Amazon like this black. Stuff, this whatever. is a nice black. You know, that's the other thing I wanted to talk to you about, you know, doing this, um, what you call it, this, uh, Doodling? stream of consciousness writing thing. If you go backwards. A semic. A semic. It, 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 it seems to be more, you know, it, it looks like you're looking at words in the mirror. Right, guys, go. Now, There's that see, this is going to be this is going to be a nice paper because this one I can. Oh, Rhonda likes their fine. I I, I ordered a package of the just the black and uh -oh, in, no. in see, the different. I just hit some wet paint there. Well, supposedly these work well on that. It's going a little dead, isn't it? Pardon? It kind of went a little. What? It grayed out like it's you know. Oh like... yeah, well I hit some paint there. It's not a good idea to try doing things over wet paint. This down here was dry because it was a brayer off. Remember this? I just wiped it off. See, it's still. And remember, this is this is um, golden. It's great over the acrylic as long as it's dry. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> that's that's what we found there. Deb. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. So Darcy had originally gotten them because she saw a lady on Instagram show how using the black on wettish mediums didn't ruin the tip like other pens. I would assume that maybe wettish medium means like watercolor or something like that. Maybe yeah. not the wet acrylic. Acrylic. Because remember, acrylic is pl basically plastic. plastic. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Well, let's, let's try some stuff here. Let's no see. worries, Michelle. Hang out. All right. So we're taking, we're taking a... All right, so what I want here, the purple is really, and I really need this to look at this. Mm -hmm. This purple here, I think it's going to go really well over oh, the does. top of that green. And we're kind of, kind of you know, oh, I don't want green, I want purple. So we've got our basic shape here, but look at this. Inside of there... We're just going to go with what we see underneath. And it doesn't have to be exact, but you know. Now, are you, is this mealy? It is it is a little on the mealy side. Can you see it? Well, yeah, because I can tell that there's a difference in some of those areas where you're... Yeah, you can see where I hit, hit, a, hit a... Smooth um, spot versus bumpy, kind of. Yeah. Hello, 
Kathy. Got the Kathy's representing today. That's awesome. And this here really, you know, this is just kind of getting a feel for things. So I don't get too terribly carried away with my design. I always leave room for something else to happen there. Because I may not, you know, it may not be what I want. If I'm starting to get a different, whole different feel for it, I want to leave myself open to that. Until uh -huh. I get, a, get that feeling that says, okay, this is what I want to do. So now I know I can do it. And I, all I do is... Early on, I make sure that I repeat what I did in enough different places that it looks like there was some sort of plan. Mm -hmm. Oh, Sonia would like you like to see the um, glass pen. She's still looking for hers. Oh, Sonia's? Uh-huh. I was looking for mine, but Mariah found it I for did. me. I did. Hopefully. She found it. I did. I found it. Oh, wait. Did I put it... You put it back in the same drawer. Yeah. Okay. I want. I thought about moving it over there, but then I kept it over here. I, I told her if you put things yep. back in the same place twice, she will remember that that's where they are. There's your dip pen. Okay. Well, the dip pen is not the greatest thing because you're going to be using inks, right? Let's just talk about that. We've got that out here. Yeah. <coughs> I just, I, I love this. I love the aesthetics of this. And when I, when I finally did, you know, get it, I mean, it's kind of, kind of pricey as I recall. Uh, well, that one in itself really wasn't crazy. Yeah, now I need some ink. And, and that one came with some inks, remember? Yeah, it did, but I, I don't really know where. This is the ink that um, Akiko sent with her Pen. Okay. I mean, there's a reason it's on there good. <laughs> but sometimes it really just, my. And it has this little hoop de do thing here in the top. I'm not sure exactly whether you're supposed to. I've had this open and used it. I don't remember exactly. And I have crap fingernails, so I'm gonna have to go with a different implement here. Uh -huh. It's a little corky thing. Not quirky, corky. Cork, quirky. Is it a quirky, corky thing? It's a quirky cork. And, and it ends up spattering whenever you do finally get it to pop off of there. Yeah. Oh, it's going to come my way, and I'm wearing my very lovely pink shirt today. I know, today. and I've got my Prestine that really doesn't have that much spot, and I'm getting it all over my hands. Yeah, you are. Okay. I, I, you want to give up on this one? No. No? You got I, it? I'm going to wrestle it down. Okay. I think I know where the other inks are, if you... Maybe. Okay, so it's got those... Do you see those little things on there? Yeah. <laughs> I try to get people to note up on things, you know. And you can see, I, I have opened it before because it's got stuff all over the... I, I tried to wipe that off, but... I mean, this stuff is just... Yeah. Okay, try not to get it on you. And Try to I, avoid that. And uh, <laughs> I, I'm not putting that bad boy back on. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Maybe you need and to the, put a little the, note on the, there that the, it the, is no longer corked. <laughs> it is no longer, yeah. <laughs> note to self. Alrighty. Well. Yeah. Okay, there is that. Well, keep your phone on you, Gabla. Where's she going? Well, she says, I'm listening while cleaning her art studio. Hopefully there will not be an art avalanche. Art, art avalanche. All right, well, let's, I, I just picked this one out because I thought it was kind of nice. And let's see what happens here. Mm -hmm. 
No, that's not. That's some some other dribble. <laughs> okay. Now here's the other problem with this. When you put your your thing down in there, you want to get enough on there that you can you you can Good make call. you know. You don't want it to go up so far mm -hmm. that you're messing yourself up. Mm -hmm. But you want to get enough ink on there that. Yeah, I I I, I love this thing. And as you can see, <laughs> so true, Diane. What? Diane, she says, call that effort to uncork. No wine at the end. Boo. <laughs> <laughs> She's getting their wine. <laughs> she was going to make that happen. By golly, I wasn't letting that sucker beat me. doing pretty good. Uh, one of the things to kind of keep in mind though with some of these inks and depending on how heavily you go um, over the acrylic it, it will need a little bit of time to dry. And you know I'm not familiar with this and this is something that Akiko sent. It's called the feather pen. And Did she send that? Yeah it came with it came it, the writing collection from the feather pen. It, it came with the the feather pen. Oh um. See, you opened up the pack. She took off with a lot of learning things. And part of the nice thing about, I, I'm hoping that this I ink is, is um, called indelible, is because I, I would like to gel plate over it and I would like it to not go smushy on me. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. This is really nice because can you see how how that it, it's got the it's got the two flat parts. So you, when you put your finger there and your finger there, you you you've got that flat part. It, it doesn't roll. It doesn't roll on you. It's, it's very comfortable in your hand. It it feels well balanced. I don't know if I still have a link for this pen or this class one in particular. I don't know if you guys are interested in that or not, but. Did I order it or did you? I feel like you did. I ordered this. Yeah. I've had it for a long time. Well, a long time. I say a long time. You know. I've had it for a couple years. And I, I've, I've done pens before that. But I've never had one of these fancy, you know, cool blown glass. Yeah. See, they're not badly priced. I mean, even on Prime Deal, a lot of them are, you can get a set with inks. Now, depending, and like this one even has two pens in it and 14 inks. So, that's cool. Well, I just got this because it had the dichroic glass. Mm -hmm. And was, you know, hand blown. Oh, there's the one, yeah. Uh, Yolakis, right? Isn't that the brand on it? Um, I don't read Japanese. Well,. I mean, the case looks the same. It still has a starry thing, but then again, I think they're all kind of doing that just so that way they all look alike. <laughs> hey, I, I don't know. Let me see it again. Let me have the box. Pretty please. Thank you. Yeah. You found it? Uh, no, but I, I'm, I feel fairly sure. And this one's ten ninety eight. It's not on a prime deal day, but, um. Well, mine was way more than that. And remember, I have all those inks in, a, in a, those little inks that I ordered. Little sample inks. Mm -hmm. In a bag somewhere. 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 Yeah, I kind of remember yours being like 30-something or something like that. I, I think this, yeah. Well, maybe they've just gone down in price. Well, there you go. Because, yeah, it looks like on average they run at about $15 or $16. And that's with the inks. Okay. Well, I'm really glad that, you know, I don't have to go to 
the prom tonight. <laughs> oh, you could have worn gloves. <laughs> that was a very snappy answer. It was, there, I was very, ready for very, you. Very snappy. <laughs> uh, it just cracked me up because, okay, i got to tell you this story. I'm, you know, back in the day when I was doing all of my, all that nonsense that you do when you're young and stupid, and dressing up and wearing heels that, you know, if you were being uh -huh. chased, you wouldn't be able to run. Oh, of course, you could always just stop and pull your heel off and whack them in the head with it. Um, there is that. Um, I had these gloves. And I just thought they were the coolest things ever. They looked like lace. They had pearl buttons on them and everything. And I can't, you know, it's one of those formal kind of things. Yeah. All right. Somewhere I've got a picture photograph of that mm -hmm. but I don't know exactly where, where that that would be anyway so I I, I love them I kept them because I thought they were very cool well when I got to to tech and I was getting my art you know art certificate certification slash you know degree all, all level degree um I got into slab rolling I loved it I uh, I didn't oh, have enough upper shirt talking about I didn't have enough upper body strength or were my arms long enough to do really awesome throwing because uh -huh. it does take a lot of strength to pull something other than the size of you know a teacup or a small vase <clears throat> just even actually centering the clay uh -huh. it just takes an incredible amount of upper so body if you, strength if you're tall and have large hands and Pottery long throwing, arms. Yes, is for you. Yes. When you're short and little and like have small hands, very tricky. Or you have to move to smaller pottery. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I, I never really liked that. And I <clears throat> tore my hands. And it was up. very, very hard on my hands. Because mm -hmm. it's the clay's bad enough anyway because it dries your hands out. But then when you're talking about a sandpaper effect of, you know, holding it down here while it's going, shh. Yeah, yeah. just basically great. It exfoliates gr in, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I got into slab rolling, and I kept thinking of interesting things to use. And I used to remember we used to go up down the alley and pick up that piece, those pieces of fiberboard that had separated part of, and that vase up there. Oh, you can't see. Oh that. yeah, yeah. That's an example. She raccooned that thing too. Yeah, and the bottom burst off, but I glued it back on. Anyhow, oh, cheater, cheater. <laughs> that was okay. A lot of people did that. I, I'm washing this out because I don't want that ink to dry on there. Because what it does is it messes up your ability. The flow. To, to get it back on there. To dip and flow. To dip and flow. So, back to the gloves. I cut the pearl buttons off because they were messing up the... Uh-huh. Uh, yeah. And I don't know if you know what a slab roller is. It's this huge thing that you put down two layers of cloth and whatever in your clay, and it smashes it out to all the same. It, it's a marvelous thing. <laughs> and I want to take another clay class from somebody that has a slab roller because that's how I like to do mine. I that's like how to, she rolls. I'm with ha a, slab a hand builder. Roller. I'm a slab roller. So I took my gloves and I put them down there and rolled them through. And it was fabulous because the design of the lace and the gloves and everything was right there. So then I took and I cut them what out. What is that? I gave it to Dr. Mittler. Oh. Okay. I know. Oh, I love Dr. Mittler. He he had, he came from. Oh, and I don't know some, if we, we told you guys or not, but we did reach out to the family. And they got back to us. Um, he's very old. And not doing that great. And I haven't, you know, touched back since. But Gene Mittler, you need to look up his stuff because he did some. I mean, he, he was really, he did some mm -hmm. cool modern art pieces. So anyway, and then I took, I took, okay, got them out and everything. And they're, I don't know, white, made out of white clay anyway. They weren't like dark clay, light colored clay. I took the two pieces of gloves and put them together like this. It was a, I kind of even Do remember. You, yeah. Yeah. And. This I, I worked for hours on the seams to get the seams where I would take the glove and I'd press it into the seams so that you couldn't tell where the gloves were put together. And then I glazed them with a combination. It was it was just um, what do you call it? it commercial 
glaze, stuff that you would buy. And it turned out that they looked like they had, it was pink with green flax yeah. in it, and I called it jalapeno ice cream gloves. And I gave it to Dr. Mittler. And it was kind of a joke, but he liked them. And I just have a feeling, you know, I, I who did, did you get a hold of one of the girls? I don't remember who Pilar? it was that wrote me back. It and was I, actually like a, a spouse of one of the kids. I think a husband. If I'm oh really? I think I, it's been a while. It Bissell? was like was her last name. Bissell? Well, actually, let's think about this. I think it was about a year ago because we were doing the mark making and we were going through the whole series. Or um, also during the time when we did the um, what's the matrix. Oh, yes, because that's Dr. Yes. Mittler's. That, that's his, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anyway, he, he was a lovely man, and when I would go to his office for a conference, he had, he had matching saucers and, and teacups. And I just thought that was pretty Gosh, awesome because, yeah. you know, uh, that was certainly not, I didn't have any matching. Anything? We used mugs. Um, but he had matching teacups. I don't and, think... I, I didn't really, I mean, I knew of matching dishware prior to getting married because I worked in tabletops at Macy's, but that certainly was not something that I, I just, that I just we like had mixing growing. them all up. We just took whatever the families, whatever. Now we had a lot of those brown dishes. Yeah, that was Denby from, those. from, yeah, your dad's he mom. He liked that, yeah. that stuff and I, I just. That stuff's kind of, um, yeah, it's probably collectible. I like yeah, white we dishes. Just, I like white dishes too. And I had a lot, you know, pieces this and that, some of it antique and but none of it really matched because it was just different. And I would just put them on the table all together and it's just kind of a little big mishmash of <laughs> this and that and everything else. That's kinda of how I am in life. Okay, what are we doing? I don't know. Where is this going? <laughs> I don't know. Just talking about the pottery and the gloves. Yeah, the yeah. pottery and the gloves. Anyway, I had a really good time. Now, I am not putting that cork thing that cork thing no. back on this uh, thing. I am not doing it. it on to send maybe a piece of tape or something over it just to, you know. Well, see, it's, it, it fits down on there. I think okay. it was for transportation purposes. Yeah, we'll go with that. And I'm not, I'm not transporting it anywhere except from this side of the desk over there to that other side of the desk. Then I won't have to worry about, you know, coming out with it. You know, yeah. It doesn't really bother me because, yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, we'll just keep this right here because we might go ahead and do some more on that. But anyway, I want to get back to this. And, okay. So now I've got some of the purple going on there. I'm going to reach over here for my, and didn't Mariah say Funzels were on sale today? Yeah. Hey, I highly recommend these. And I don't know, you know, you probably get your best bang for your buck. I don't really use this big thing other than on my gel on plate. My gel plate. Or these other, this other hey, one. The either. other thing is, is that if you really weren't going to use it, and you wanted to refill your other, your smaller oh, one. You could, could. Could you do that? Yeah, because you can pull out the nib and then you can just pour the stuff in. It's a thought. It, it probably goes a lot better in theory than it does in practice, but yeah, okay. It seems like that could be done. So we've already got white on here. Oh, Sarah would like to know what happened to the gloves. We still have the gloves somewhere. Yeah, I, I don't know. They're in storage. They kind of lost their elasticity. Yeah, they They're got kind of, of... They were wonky. But they still to, look really cool. I used to play with them. I remember those gloves. I was quite fascinated with them. And then she cut the buttons off, so they didn't, you know... Well, I had to, to get them through the slab roller. Right. Hi, Christine. <laughs> okay, you're just taking your existing pattern that you've got there, and you're just doing things with it. And the thing about it is, is you just, you know, whatever you do one place, just whip it around and do that same thing someplace else, and it makes it look intentional. <laughs> Sarah was invested in that story. <laughs> she was? Yes. The, glo the yes, gloves? The gloves. Oh, that's funny. Oh, I had some others that were um, metallic. The pro I never saw those. I don't think that those... Well, the pro problem was they were 
plastic. They were that kind of like those pants. And this was seventies. Like they hadn't perfected the the process. So well, I'm sure. And what happened was is the the if you rubbed your nose or something, the Flake metallic off. stuff would come off. It's probably okay, some nasty all over your face and everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I remember that. They were they were a lot better in theory than in practice. Sometimes maybe I, that should be the. The, the name of the stream. It seems like there's a lot of that going on. <laughs> More better in theory than practice. It's kind of like I like goats, but... Yeah. Uh, yeah. Hi, Maya. Hi, Maya. Yeah, I don't know how long you've been with us, but... but she been, just got here. We, we've been discussing some really... In, Terribly, terribly important things as far as... No. Nothing in depth. Um, I really like these little target shapes. Yeah. I, I, I don't know if you've noticed that or not. I thought you were going to do more um, oh, I, flowy I am. things. I, I am going to do flowy things. I'm going to do that on this one. All right. So you get the idea. The shapes are here. Now on this one, you know, I, I don't know yet. I, I'm not... I don't have a... Is that blocking anything? Some flowy business. We, we, ha we have... We like gloves. P has a lot, that, and then I acquired them, so... I like them very much. Hats, gloves. Accessories. <laughs> Not something you get to wear a lot in Texas, but I tell you, when it's cold, it's like, ooh, we're going to go out and I'm going to wear some of them coats. Most of them don't fit me anymore. Hey, Leela. Is that right? What's grandma? Pretty sure. See, sometimes my little brain says yes, and then I go, hmm, is that right? That's right, look at me. What is it? Remember, board grandma, that's Leela. <laughs> hey, Belinda. Got some people coming in. Awesome. I like this. It's more high contrast and, and much more visually um, interesting on stream. All right, we're still getting our little cells. I call these cells. And this goes back to my batiking days. Because in those cells, you can do different things. You don't have to just, you're not just tied into one thing. You know? Mm-hmm. Make different things happen inside those different areas. And you can even, like, right here. Oh, I wish I could bring down the um, celebration. Fatigue. Oh, yeah. I'm trying to think. Did I? It's in the bedroom in Izzy's bedroom. I know, but did I photograph it? I don't know if I've posted that before or not. It's huge. It's one of my favorites. It's happy and colorful. I don't know what else to say about all this. Say about what? What you're doing. What, do you not like it? Well, I do like it. I just... Do you want me to do something else? I just don't know how to chat about it. Oh. <laughs> Maybe I just, you know, <laughs> just sit here and look at y'all. <laughs> well, you can re read what people are saying. They're loving the doodle. Well, see, you don't read do. I read chat to you. Well, come on, y'all. Chat, chat me up. Chat. <laughs> so that she can read something to me. Because this is, I, you know, when I'm doodling, I'm off in another world. Mm -hmm. This is a white marker that works very well, Panka says. Yes, the, the funcils. 
and it's had multiple uses because a, what I found with a lot of these, the first time you use them, it's like, hallelujah. Then the next, the next time, time, time you're going, message. well, son of a gun. Mm -hmm. It no worky no more. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you can shake the living daylights out of it. And so, it, Sonia would like to know if you like this one better than the Posca. Yes, I don't like Poscas. I like the Poscas because of the colors and they do really work. I will say this. I, it seems that the, the nib. I like the points on these. On this, uh, these particular funcils that they hold up to these mealy gel prints and maybe because they're more like maybe maybe they've made them a little harder or whatever because a lot of people you're using these for rocks and you know posca i think the main thing people use them for rocks too but they tend to but usually they eat up the paper more than anything that's usually what balls up but then the the tips do get kind of worn down and more frayed yeah and the thing about these, it, it, that tip just seems to really, mm -hmm. it, 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 it hangs in there. Because I've, I've, I've really, I've abused this. I don't know that. Do you know uh, Sioux Color brand of pencils? What is it? S-O-U-C-O-L-O-R. No. Do not know that. Uh, what are you going to do with the finished doodles? We might make a paper set. I don't know. That's a good <laughs> I did question. photograph the other one. Uh, probably... Oh, actually, that's a great question. And I was I told you to remind me, but that does remind me of what I wanted to show. What Some things that you can do. Hold on, i got to dig myself out here. <laughs> this is ridiculous. She, she, she thinks that's real funny. She thinks that's real funny. Uh, okay, I like this. I'm going to cross the page here. Okay, I've got two of these. I'm, I'm really sorry that these are kind of the same, but I'm going to change them and make them different. I don't want any two of these to be alike. I want them to have some things in common, but then I want them not to. Okay, so what am I going to do here? I can make a little loopy do there. And remember when we talked about our line vocabulary? And coming in and, you know, making things happen within the lines that you already have there. And this is how this is how you make, you know, things happen. Okay, that, see that is starting to feel a little bit different there. And we want to emphasize that this is going to be completely, we're not going to have it have a lot of the same things that that one did. Okay, I like that. And instead of having this come to a point, we're going to make a circle inside of every one of those little jobbers. And I think that this is kind of how Miriam approaches hers when she goes into her, because she made those lines that had her cellular sections were more flowing and more, and she just took the design and went across the page. And of course you can do that. I just thought it was kind of interesting to go ahead and use this um, then one thing you want to make sure, see how that's catching on my, you want to turn it around so you're not dragging your arm through the, the gravy. gravy. Okay. What we have here. Oh, yeah. Now be careful, that last one isn't in a sleeve, so hopefully your fingers aren't too, too. Oh, my fingers are dry. Up. That's okay. why I moved the paper out of the way. And remember to hold it up oh. into the technology. Well, and then they're in these plastic envelopes.
See those doodles? Bringing her in for a landing. <laughs> As he was out in the driveway the other day, and Brian Brad were leaving. She makes it and crazy. She's, she's going. So you get your butt out of the way or you're going to be a pancake, you silly kid. And these are all puffed up, by the way. Yeah. Can you see that? Mm-hmm. See those? What she did, she glued those. Mm -hmm. I don't know how many layers together to get those. I don't know what. Is that some of that glitter glue? that Shiny stuff on there? Uh, probably a little bit of, yeah. Some, yeah. Some stickles. That one's layered. I want you to know, look, look at that that gradient there. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. Now, this is done with Posca. Mostly, yeah. Mm hmm So, CP would just doodle things, and then I'd grab it up and make cards in. <laughs> like, that's fantastic. Can I have that? Kind of, kind of sort of what we do here. Yeah. <laughs> This was we, the very beginning. I, I was sure that we were going to sell cards. Now, this one's kind of crazy because it has, like, all kinds of things happening. It was... Oh, yeah. It was... It, it was alcohol inked. It was then um, embossed, like, through the embossing folder, and then she doodled. Or, I can't... I think you doodled after the embossing. No, you embossed it. Because... I wouldn't have been able. The, the, I can tell because of the line, but you can. It, it has texture to uh -huh. it, actual texture. Yeah. And then, like, I cut out the sentiments on the cricket and the little windows and such. But those are alcohol inked and then doodled over. Bring it down a little bit. There you go. Perfect. Yeah. yeah, that's a good price for that card. Original artwork. And then, I, see, I even did the envelopes. Here, sh flip that over real quick, your stack. Oh, yeah, check this out. This is this is where she started doing her little paper piecing. And being able to copy things that she did to make it match up. So, you can make cards. <laughs> you can make cards. You can make journal pages, you know, rip them apart and collage with them. Oh, well, this one got turned inside. Oh, but here, this one, look at this. Really nice. That's some of that, whatever you call that. Oh, the metallic papers? Mm hmm. But no, this, the, where you, the dendritic or. Oh, the Zentangle. Dendritic. Oh, uh, neurographic. Neurographic, yeah, dendritic. Mm -hmm. That's what you call the, the, the connections in mm -hmm. the brain. Oh, yeah, I'll put the, the markers in there again. All right, so here we go. Now, the next, the fun part on this also is then once you have this all kind of going here, let's go ahead and finish this one down here. Okay, so I'm looking around to see what I've done on these others, and let's see what we're going to do on this one. Oh, bye, Heather. There you go. Does anyone make a profit making cards? Um, no, I don't. I don't think so. I think the problem is that, um, you know, people feel like, oh, well, I can go and get a really cute card for thirteen or fourteen dollars, which to me is still even kind of a high price for a mass produced card. But people then expect you to sell one-of-a-kind cards for that much. And it's like, you yeah, know, I'm sorry. I spent two days making that card. And that was just the, the assembly of it. That didn't even count the... Time the artwork. Yeah. And if people want to, you know, 
fact, you know. Now, we did do a series for a friend, and it was kind of a, and that's when we decided we didn't want to do that anymore. Yeah. The, the problem of, that is, is even when you're doing mm -hmm. multiples and you're using a lot of printables or whatever, there's still the time that, that you have to actually make it into a card. And it doesn't matter if it's original artwork or printables. It yeah. takes to still the same amount of time. So, yeah, it was really hard for me to justify, you know, yeah. creating um, any of that. And then people would see the original because I was, I was kind of working out even doing rep replicas or the reproductions. And then they would want the original. But it's like, yeah, well, that one took me hours, like days, hours. And even if there were ones that were similar, I could never make the same card twice. No. You know, they had a lot of things in common, but mm -hmm. still, you know, who, who wants to do that? I can't even make two earrings that look the mm -hmm. same. <laughs> Good. Just making my cellular business a little you know just taking it down and this is going to allow me to do different things inside of each one of those little bands of business mm -hmm. that's going on there yeah exactly and, and we've actually sent some of those cards out to, to some of you guys that you know have touched us and made an impression on us we, or even during our Christmas great you know little miss I'll send some cards out <laughs> I'm like, God, do you God, not remember here. how long it takes us even just to, you know, mat it, fold it, you know, all of the things, and then she never makes them standard size, so then I gotta figure out what envelope to put the thing in. Yeah, we had a little bit of that. Yeah, a little bit of that. A little bit of that. Mm hmm <laughs> Diane says earrings do not need to match. Who can see both of them at the same time? That's exactly. Know? I wore two different earrings all day long at school one day. Actually, I... I had two pair of Aww, sorry, Birkenstock Diane. clogs that one was brown and one was dark brown. I had those on all day and didn't notice them until the end of the day. And one of the teachers in the teacher's lounge said, do you realize that you have on two different shoes? And I said, I planned it that way so it would coordinate my outfit. <laughs> she so suck it. full of it. It's like, yeah, you thought you got me. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. I've done the same thing with earrings, too. Oh, remember I had those Mia shoes. I had a black pair and a brown pair, and I... I a couple of times wore them interchangeably. We got one black, one brown. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love those shoes. Um, who was it used to call them? Clown shoes. Clown shoes. Mm -hmm. My friend Eric. It's like, oh, oh another, great, another, Mariah! You're another, wearing your clown shoes today. Another pair of clown oh, I see, shoes. I, I, yeah, I see. You've got them in different colors. Wow. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's really something. <laughs> Basically, Mary Jane's anything really bubbly looking, I really was very into. Yeah. They had the bubble toe. Yeah. With a cute little strap across them. Mm-hmm. This is No, really those were just the tie-up ones, and they had like six. It was a six lace. Or three. It was a... I loved that. Because they came at... They were perfect shoes. I loved those shoes. And by and the she, time I oh. figure out that I love a shoe, you can't get the shoe anymore. <laughs> she would glue the soles. Oh, because I crack up. I walk weird, obviously, I guess. I don't know. Maybe other people have this problem, but it happened in a lot of different pairs of shoes, so it wasn't just a particular shoe. It was just the fact that, like, how I walk. But they would always crack along, like, the front pad part, and I would glue them till so they just wouldn't glue no more. Yeah. It's kind of like those shirts that she makes me sew up. Mm -hmm. I got, and, and now I got a pair of pants that are in a situation. And I said, well, honey, you're, I, I, I Hey, I did order a pair of pants. Oh, did you do? You I, did? My thought is, is if I don't like those, we're going to cut those up to fix the ones that I do like. <laughs> God. I have a plan. The things we do. The things we do. Because I could not find any other. Because I do want them to kind of match just in case, you know. Yeah, there is that. I don't mind if they're patched and even look patched. I just would like them to not look 
I don't need clown pants with clown shoes, I guess. I don't wear the clown shoes anymore, though. No, now she has these, so. I either wear Clark sandals or my little Merrill shoes. No, I can't remember. Practical. <laughs> this one is. I like this flowiness. You like this flowiness? Mm hmm. It's still a little patchworky. Like, that's just your style. Yeah, it is just my style. Mm -hmm. I, I can't, I can't not. Now this is the next size up of the markers. Oh, Diane! So she, Diane has had the best of luck with the Jane Davenport black and white pens. She can't get them anymore unless she wants to order from Australia. She's in Canada. Well, that's Jane crazy. Jane Davenport pens. I, Hmm. I bet Sandra has some of those. Well, maybe somebody out there will have a alternative, you know. Some and she can't get the funzels either in Canada. You know, I just sometimes I just do not understand these manufacturers. Well, and it just seems like I mean it's not like it's that far away. What's the dealio? They just don't. They don't want to import a lot of that junk too. Where we're kind of like, yep, yeah, yes, please. <laughs> I want that. I would like that. Okay, well, that's kind of fun. <laughs> that's there. Huh? Yes, import taxes, exactly. I want to get enough on here that I can show you how you can use your um, acrylics to then come in and, oh, I, I, here, all right, enough of this. Uh, yeah, I, I love doing this. I just can't imagine you all are like, I don't know what else to say about it personally. Yeah, it is what it is. And, and you and know, although Deb C just said your fabadoodles are looking great. <laughs> Bless your heart. You're Thank wonderful. You. Okay. <laughs> These are looking great. Let's bring back in uh, some of these other things that we've got going on here. Okay, so the other day we did these tags, right? Yes. Have you done anything else to them? I think I added some things to this. I can't remember. I think I added the white. Okay. Not really sure. But now that I have these markers, these markers, Yeah. Uh, I'm pretty jazzed about that. See how they interact with the watercolor over the acrylic. That will be interesting. Well, you know, and I really think, I don't know. Oh, Devin. So Paula, she's like, oh, these are just, because we were like, you know, this is like doodling beyond. Because, you know, a lot of times a doodle's just usually just done in white or black or this or that. But then once you really start getting into it and mix meeting your doodles, then it becomes a fab -a doodle and that was coined by Paula. And actually, she did it as a fab you doodle but I put the fab because I like saying fab -a better. Either way works. Okay, well, look, see? I mean, those go over the, <laughs> those go over the acrylic just fine. Mm -hmm. All right, I don't, I don't like the middle of this, and I never have liked, but I didn't have anything to do with that I, I could but maybe purple would be better. No. Now, this is the only thing I would like about this set. I would like this set with a turquoise. They did have a larger set, I think. I don't know if it came with turquoise. I'll look at that. One second. Because I don't have a turquoise here. I just have this blue. And I mean, you know, it's okay. Because oh, yeah. Oh, goodness. They, it's, oh, well, that's washable. Okay, dark enough that it's, you know, it's not going to be. I'm going to see in the permanent if they come in a. I think for the permanent colors, all I'm seeing is like the largest set is up to eight colors. Hmm. 
Now, they do make other markers. They are a marker. Yeah. They make Stabber. all kinds of things. Um, but it looks like those are then water, like, based. So, they're just regular markers. Not the permanent, perhaps. Oh, they have a twin tip permanent of 12. Hold on. So, this might get you your... Oh, no, that's that's a different brand. Different brand. They don't even... They have, like, kind of a light green and a dark green, but not a... Not a... The one you usually I... have to get up to those really bigger sets of markers before they start giving you a... Yeah, like... A teal or a... Turquoise. Turquoise. Well, they go over the, the, the um, I mean, you know, and you can see the spaces where I'm kind of trying to round out that right. mucked up circle that I made. They work quite nicely. Don't seem to be having a lot of issues with, um, yeah, they're bigger, more colorful sets are the water-based inks. I guess they figure that people that are doing this kind of stuff really, you know, don't want to. Again, I gotta think, like, the typical doodling is going to be, like, mainly in a black marker. Or then you use, like, a Posca acrylic ink. Or even the, um, Uniball Signo. Yeah. Hi, Chris. I really like their, you know, even when they go across the, um... Oh, fantastic, Diane. I mean, you know, it's, I really, I think it's quite nice. It's nice, dense lines. I, I, I'm, I'm quite happy with them. I like the medium tip. Now, it'll be interesting once the black ones come, because I, I did the set, like, it has the variation of tip. I think I ordered it. I kind of waffled back and forth. I'm like, seriously, how many more block markers do we need? So I can't remember exactly if I did order it or not. I feel like I did. Hey, you can never go wrong with ordering black markers. It, it, you know, you might think right now that, yeah. oh, yeah, I, I'm not going to need that. She needs it. I need it. Oh, wonderful, Joan. It's good that you got yours in there before the, you know, I think the crazy craziness. What What are you talking oh, about? Oh, stamps. If Stencils are going out fast. Like, we get those out, no problem. Stamps, on the other hand, you're looking at three to five days from our usual, you know, kind of next day business. Um, can, can you see that? I don't know what that. I mean, it, it's really nice because there's enough transparency that really you can see oh, yeah. it. Can you see Kinda, that? That's very cool. And not messing up the tip, which is nice. Yeah, and you don't. That's you're not going to get that with your opaque markers. They're going to cover it up. So what does it say altogether on, on the back with permanent? Like what is it? Is it? I don't know if it's going to say on there or not. Well, let me see. find English here. There's all kinds of languages here. In, in extremely tiny. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Waterproof on most surfaces and refillable. Oh. I have a feeling, you know, because that's whatever, I have a feeling that maybe that screws off. I'm not oh. messing with that. I don't see any other... Universal pen for use on almost all surfaces. Waterproof, dry safe, can be left uncapped for days without drying up. Oh. This is what we need to be buying, is it? No doubt. Holy we cow. Like, we'll see about that. <laughs> We've got the perfect little tester. Oh, yes, we do. Uh, yeah, and it doesn't really say, like, on all their technical details. It doesn't say, like, you know, if it's a, whatever the base of it is. Oh, 
Oh, alcohol based. Uh, and I was going to say the they, they, there's a little bit of a smell, but it's not. It's not. Um, it's not like mm -hmm. most of those permanent. Mm -hmm. Most of them are horrible. I don't like them at all. Wendy says she needs multiples of everything as she misplaces them and then finds them weeks later. That happens around here as well. It do. Mm-hmm. Oh, nice. All right, let's see. Let's see what it what it does down here on. It. Well, it goes just fine. Oh. And this is kind of mealy. Isabel says that um, Faber Castell pit artist pit they are india ink permanent and have millions of colors and several nib sizes Ooh. oh dang it now i need to look into that isabel thank you i do love some markers seriously oh hey did you read i, I wrote patty Ter patty tolly terry shape comment after i watched your video yesterday uh -huh. I, I can't i don't know why i cannot get her get to her lives are they at a weird time or well she's rando usually like okay most of the time she streams on sundays about an hour after we're okay, done okay well that's that's what happens because i'm usually pursuing whatever food. it is that i started <laughs> or food well, or i'm eating <laughs> because i'm peckish right as carmichael was saying Oh, the Lumicolor mar markers were primarily used to write on acetate and CDs. Well, there you go. Well, I think they're quite fun. All right, let's try that burnt orange over this. Now, this is your, your darker, so, you know, it's going to be a little bit... But that when you go with your lighter colors, that's when you really find out. Mm -hmm. This is going to be no way, no. Oh, look at that. What am I looking at? You're looking at where it oh, went. Oh, I across. yeah. That's pretty cool looking. Because then you still have the outside, which, sh you know, the color, but then you've got that inside. So you're getting that really double whammy there. Mm -hmm. of I like that. I think that looks really cool. Because you, the outside color is different than that color where you're going over the metallic. I want to try the red here. Oh yeah, she's right. So the Faber-Castell Pit Artist pins, and they come in all kinds of different, like you said, all kinds of different points or nibs. Different colors, different sets. What's cool is it looks like you can kind of um, buy them in the sets, sort of like how we buy um, the Prismacolor pencils. Oh. Like themed sets. Uh-huh, like the blues. And, and what's cool is they actually have a blues drawing, like of a blues singer on the packaging. I like that. That's very clever. Very clever. Oh, the, oh they have one called Color Wheel, and it's then they have a picture of a motorcycle. Oh, the cover, color over the top of the... Um, I have to try some of those out. We'll have to figure out what kind what kind we want. Like, do we want the brush ones? Do we want... I really like these. I, I like... The hard, harder tip. Those are my favorite with, like, the sign pens. Or the, the those brushy ones. I really do like those a lot, too. I thought I was going to hate those, but... They, they are a harder brush pen, which I like very much. Not that soft, fluffy thing. Yeah, bendy ones. I, I, I'm not big on those either. It's got to be a, a, a stiff bend. That's what I'm you know, trying to throw out there. 
<laughs> okay, kind of missed the chat there. I was looking at markers. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, five-year-old girl makes a great... Mm -hmm. She's six, though. She's very... She's like, I'm six now. <laughs> like, wow. Simmer down. She did karaoke all day yesterday. Oh, God. I, I was telling Brad that I did look into, like, voice lessons. They're kind of expensive. I, I just really think we need to pursue this drama stuff. I, oh, I agree, but I think, like, you know, singing's a good thing, or at least being able to recognize if you can or cannot. True. Yeah, I, I don't see her sitting still for piano lessons. No. Because she needs some kind of more. She can, her body can move. Yeah, belt it out. And... Oh, the pit pens work great over acrylic is what Devin says. So, all right, multiple recommendations on the pit pens. Okay. You know, I think hey, I've had those before. <laughs> they, they seem to be fairly reasonably priced. I mean, a set of six is 17 bucks. So, you know, you pay 15, it was, I think it was about 15 or so for those instead of eight. So they are comparable. Favorite Castell. I'll put a link to one set in here. Let's see, which one? Do they have some that are on Prime Days or not? Let's see. Favorite Castell, man. They're like, mm, we're not doing Prime Days. Whatever. You like our stuff or not? <laughs> we don't really care. We're just, uh, we got people buying this stuff already. Yeah. We don't need you, you know. Here, I like that blue set. I'm going to put the blue set. Ooh, see, that one was kind of big. Oh, it's eight. It's a set of eight. I, they're just, this is just so much fun. I mean... I just sit here and do this this doodly doodly doodly, 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 doodly do, do all day. Doodly do all day long. Let's see art markers. Let's see if they have a separate section, and I'll just send you to the section. So watercolor brushes. God, this is so dangerous for me to be here. Um. Ooh. Okay. So paper cuts out calligraphy. Pit. See, I don't like those calligraphy ones, though. They drive me crazy. Lettering. Lettering. Ooh, good vibes. Very good. I think the pit, lettering. I had that I had that one in a calligraphy marker before. I think that that's what I've got. So I'm wondering if those lettering set, I wonder if that means it has a little bit of that brush tip to it. I'm curious about that. Oh, Sorry, you mean guys. the soft, soft pastel? Oh, they do. Oh, it comes with one liner and then kind of a brush tip one. I just don't know about that as like kind of a starter, like where you want to start on that whole business. Okay, here's a good starter set because it's just the black. But Faber-Castell Pit Artist Pen Essential Set for Black Markers. Variety of nibs. I'm going to put the link to that one. But then that way at least you know what it's called. Are you putting them in, in the stream? Yeah, in the chat. You need to also put them in our, 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 um, well, I guess you can't always do that later. Yeah. Wish list. Because sometimes I think I can find things again. I know. Nay, nay, not so. There we go. Bye, Michelle. Thanks for hanging. Hey, Z. We were talking about you earlier. I did get my, um, I, I got the my winning. Thank you for sending that. Bye, Abby. Bye, Abby. <laughs> she says, P, I loved it. Your style is nothing like hers. <laughs> Just to start cooking. Oh, it's pink a second. Oh, Chris's. There's a Faber Castell outlet oh. near her. That's pretty cool. I wonder if. I don't think there's anything like that around here. They just have stupid clothes outlets. Yeah. You know, Tommy Hilfinger. <laughs> 
She has feelings about things. I do buy those occasionally at the Goodwill. Mm -hmm. I'm not paying ever paying that mm -hmm. price. I looked on eBay for the um, Ellen Tracy pants just to see if... Oh, yeah? I don't like her newest styles anyway. And I was just hoping and praying again that I, I, I just... I want the same thing. I really wish designers or whatever just... Could there be some staple things that you just... Hey, just there used to be a it. thing called basics and they did have the same thing. I just... I want the same thing. And I, I don't... It doesn't necessarily, <laughs> you know, have to be... I want the same shoes. I will tell you, um, these one barrel shoes of mine, yes, they were little clown shoes. It was like a transition time for me. Cause <laughs> oh, that's funny. And I was so excited I had found them. Um, but th it was a smaller size. So that made me sad. But they still, they have yet to remake that shoe. I would even buy it in ri just ridiculous colors. I, I would be okay with that. I just want the shoe. Because I loved it. Does that mean that I'm getting older? That I'm just like, I just want the same thing. I want that thing. <laughs> Stop changing it up for me. I don't, well, I, I don't have, I don't have time to do, that's why I like Birkenstocks. Oh. Oh, Eddie's still feeling under the weather. Sorry to hear that. Oh, Acme says that uh, Joanne Fabrics also carries the, the black pit pins. Maybe the color. She doesn't know about that one. The color one. Well, we used to go there once in a while. Why don't yeah. we go there anymore? Because you don't ever go anywhere. Well, that's true. I usually have to trick you or promise you food or something. <laughs> <laughs> it has to be. Yeah. Oh, this is, you know. Like, what kind of pants do you have on today? <laughs> <laughs> Taking you out somewhere. <laughs> I look good on the top if I could just, you know, uh -huh. <laughs> kind of have some kind of business on the bottom that would... Business on the bottom, but not I business. Did. I don't want business bottoms. <laughs> I just want some kind of business on the bottom. bottom. <laughs> <laughs> so I can go in public. I, I'm really thinking, I'm, I'm really rethinking this. I think I'm just going to go with a skirt because then I could just put the skirt over the pants and, you know, I'm be good to go. You know, I like to layer like that, like a, a nice tunic or, you know, a solid work Well, I have some skirts, but I, they haven't fit for a while. But I have had some thoughts about, you know, if they, Maybe you could one of them was kind of long anyway, so I could go ahead and cut it off and put a wide band on it. Or you could put two skirts together and make one new skirt and oh, wrap this it. Oh, is true. I know. I was so sad when my wrap around skirt didn't wrap around it. <laughs> like, like, was that's like, oh, this is a change. sad day. <laughs> it my no, wrap it no, no, it no longer wraps. Oh, I could get two and wrap one around each leg. That's kind of where I was on that. But oh, they were. <laughs> I'm a double wrap kind of girl. I'm a double wrap. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I they were so cute. They were, you know, this sorry silk stuff, and they had a little. Mm -hmm. Now, they, they weren't great in Texas wind, though. <laughs> you wanted to make sure your, your, I love that. your oh. uh, uh, underwear kind of coordinated with your skirt because it yeah. was. And I, I wore one during playground duty once, and that was mm -hmm. definitely a nay nay. That's right. But <laughs> <sighs> you, oh, you could always use your small wraparound skirt as a cape or a scarf. <laughs> That's exactly what it, it, it w yeah. w would become. Bye, Lori. Thanks for hanging. Oh, you got ten minutes. I was kind of losing track of time there. Oh, that's funny. Now, I don't, you know, I don't have plans for these. Oh, that's a good call out. Thank you, Ricky. The Montmartre craft glue. That's the PVA stuff that we love. Now, it's going to be backwards. Sorry, because I flipped my camera. But, you know, it looks like this bottle. This stuff here. Um, and we usually buy it in a set of three, but you can get it for $14.39 today. Ooh. I remember, y'all, if you're watching this back on replay, this was, you know, during Prime Days, July 11th and 12th. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I, yes. 
agree with that, Sandra. She wants shirts without pockets on the chest and pants without pockets on the butt. Don't need any action. <laughs> I do. I, I don't mind pockets on the on the bottom, um, but I want deep pockets, especially in the front. And don't make them those weird gappy pocket things that do make you look wider than you are. That, you know, there's no need for that. I hate that. Bring them towards the front. Well, make them yeah. slit pockets so you don't even know that they're there. I mean, they do it on men's jeans all the time. I don't know why they can't do it on women's. It's yeah. just it's such bogus BS. I think what we're finding out here is like, we, we, we definitely have a market. <laughs> we could just design some of our own things. Okay, well, I could just spend all day doing this, mm -hmm. and that's actually what I have been doing. I like to I like to do that. Okay, so we need to talk about this before we move on, because, you know, okay. I got sidetracked, and I don't know what I was going to do. I brought these mm -hmm. over here for some reason. It's right, Deb. I agree with that. I don't remember what it was now. Oh, well. Say la vie. Okay, you could use these markers to color in here, but that's going to, you know... I just feel like if you can use paint, well, there, I, I knocked all of my sponges off the other day. <laughs> well, your, and your, I did your lid tower is... My lid tower is growing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm looking at this out here, and I'm, I'm looking that I need some magenta. Oh, nice, Darcy. What, what, what? Uh, she's scanning her pages that she's she made to doodle on. I'll tell you what, some of the ones that I saw, y'all, should, should, um. But I think she's doing it, so that way, like, she's doing the patchwork, like, before doodle. Oh! And then that way. Well, here's another one of those little brushes. Let's just try this one. I don't know, it might be a little bit floppy. This yeah. is called a liner. That's the name of the brush. Mm-hmm. Because what it allows you to do is it allows you to do this kind of thing. Oh, she's putting out a video tomorrow. Distress spray. Distress sprays is tomorrow's video. I liked your randomness video very much. Okay, but I mean we we can use the tip of this and it'll it'll be just fine. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we come into these little areas. Yeah, this isn't the brush uh -uh. for this. It's too wiggly. Too wiggly. Too wiggly. You just need the tip. I, I need that tip, but I, I need my, where is my brush? Here's my favorite brush. You know, it's it's right in between. Mm -hmm. See how much, how much tip you've got on your liner? And size matters. Size matters. Yeah, hold it up. It would be much better. There we go. And then those other little shorty ones, that might actually be what you really need. Not well, the pro problem with the shorty ones is, is they don't they don't hold a lot of paint. And mm. I really like this one because I can I can just get into where I need <laughs> to get, mm -hmm. and still have enough load on my brush to do you know more than one just little mm -hmm. little area. Like I said, this is kind of the batik approach. And if you get out of the lines there, you know, you just don't worry about it because... You can come you back in over Come it. back in and mess with it later if that's is important. If that line meant something to you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah if you, you are want, getting a little willy-nilly. <laughs> I am getting a little willy-nilly there. I'm trying to go fast. Okay. So now you know that that's going to look like that over that. So before you get, you know, mess this color up and do something else, go someplace else and just go ahead and and, and get some of that down. Yeah, because move across the page. Flip it, you know. Move across the page, add it somewhere else before you lose that color. And I always try to get it in just three different spots. That's, I know, I can already hear Darcy. Three or four. <laughs> three or four. Depends on, you know, how you roll. 
And this is just that fluid acrylic. It's very loosey-goosey. It's, it's more like ink. And these are really messy little. I, I, I really do take more effort when I'm, yeah. Okay, so we mm -hmm. like that. Let's add some yellow to that. And get some orange going on here. And this is what I like about, you know, these fluid acrylics and the transparency of the fluid acrylics is because <clears throat> I can have it out there. Now, it, they do dry. Of course they dry. I mean, duh. They will. That happens. It happens. And at the early stages <coughs> of this business of creating patterns this is almost a little bit in reverse of what you did or like with the uh, with the patchworky ones where you made the blocks of color exactly now you're actually filling in blocks <coughs> of color <coughs> i am me noticing things yes and i appreciate you bringing that up because that was one of the points i want to say uh -huh. you can start off and create your cellulars <coughs> <coughs> You want some tea? Oh, I got my water. I got peach tea. I was very excited about it. They put a little much peach in there, though. I could have done with a little less. Or you could <clears throat> come in and actually have your designs, de your original designs, determine, you know, what you're going to do with your little bits and pieces. Now, I don't want to do that one because it's going to touch that one. That's the other, I, I don't know. Miriam I, is asking what the pouring medium is for. Does, did you mix it in with your stuff? Is that what you did? No. No. These are just fluid acrylics. Oh, but, but you could add it to. You could add it to your to it high flows. And um, then it would be. More fluid. More fluid. But these, oh, these are high flow. I'm sorry. Fluid acrylics, you can add some of the flow business to that. And then they become this. It, you you know it's it's one of those things it's kind of hard to go back yeah I hard I do it right. well I want to make another thing here but I'm I'm not going to do that right now yeah you got three minutes I've got three minutes mm -hmm. okay bye Ellen thanks for hanging yes you can add it to regular paint too and it'll make it more yes it's just that when you start off with your heavy head heavy bodies. It, it's really hard to get that smoothed out. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of like, you know, when you're making cookie batter and you don't pour all your liquid in at once, you pour in a little at a time and stir it around and then a little bit more and a little bit more and a little bit more. Then you're not going to have lumps. That's the way to go with your adding your... Still eat a lumpy cookie. Yeah. Darcy says, fantastic fab and doodling today, P. Thank you, ma'am. And, oh, like you know, you just, you just have to. Now, um, quick question before we go. Okay. Now, these blocks of color that you're creating, are you going to then come back and doodle oh, over yes. those? Okay. Absolutely. It's just the, another the layer. Little, the little things that I'm doing here, I will come in and I will add some different kinds of designs inside of those. And... And, um, do to do to do, do to do to do. Thank you guys for hanging out us, hanging out with us during this Tuesday stream. We will be back here on Thursday. We very much appreciate you guys coming in. Those of you that came in a little, maybe a little bit later, do give those thumbs upsies if you haven't already. If you're coming in here at the end, it is the end. Come back, the watch end. the replay. Give us some comments below. We love those very much. And if you are new to the channel, subscribe. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next stream. Bye.